VCH oh, yeah. is a bit down this week. We touch on it every week. I've got the Litecoin prices in here. We usually do BCH and then the ratio with BDC and ETH. But I've got okay. Litecoin in here hey, uh, just for you. So USD, $96.94. So we're down a little bit. We're starting the year, but you know it's the start of the year. So we're obviously just setting a good low so we can get a massive you know yearly gains. That's, okay. that's clearly the strategy. One Bitcoin is 171.4 BCH. So we're down against Bitcoin. One ETH is 12.3 BCH, so also down against uh, Ethereum. And one Bitcoin Cash currently buys 1.36 Litecoins. Litecoin is today up at number 12, $70.95. Yeah. So absolutely crushing it with the Litecoin community. Maybe, you know, within striking distance of top 10, that's always... Well, uh, if you take out the stable feeling. coins, it is. Yeah, I think it's exactly. number eight minus stables, so... Very, very impressive. So how do you handle the, I mean, we already joked a bit about not the hodl and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I ask every guest, how do, how do you handle uh, volatility in the markets? Crypto is obviously very volatile. Do you trade? Did you ever trade? Do you have a uh, coin I've portfolio or just past. Litecoin? I've traded in the past. You know, honestly, I did. I haven't touched anything in like a year and a half. And just yesterday, I took a tax loss. <laughs> and I'm going to rebuy next year or whatever when I yeah. can. Right. So whatever next week. And um, yeah, I mean, I think that's, that's something I did for a while and I just, it wasn't worth it to me with all the tax implications and just became a mess. And, and I felt like keeping the stuff on the exchanges, honestly, I got really freaked out. I don't know what hit me. I was using Abra, you know, those different investment platforms and earning a yield. I did it for about two or three months. And I thought, man, this is the one thing I worry about is is more than anything is the government coming in and saying you have to register all these coins we're going to track where they're going um and granted they can kind of do that already but that they would actually freeze your funds unless you were you know moving into some sort of authorized wallet i feel like that's the most likely attack that they could have particularly in the u.s because we have a lot of compliant people in the u.s so i was like i'm done i'm out pulled everything out and i nothing did anything i'll if i want to trade or move it's I'm on an exchange. I'm doing my action and I'm done. And I'm starting to do some DeFi. Like, I don't know if you guys look at Thorchain. Thorchain's one I'm a little bit messing around with. And I'm actually, I think is going to be a pretty cool tool. There's a lot you can do on there as it grows. 